Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our tenth video of our Django tutorial series, and in this series, we are creating a question answer website. So in this tenth video, we will uh, up we will work on upvote and downvote system. So if I go to my question detail page, then we can see here we have a upvote and downvote for the answer. And uh, in our previous videos. Uh, we have submitted the answer and showing the showing the uh, showing the instant comment counting here showing the instant comment counting when the user submit comment then it, it will show the instant counting of comment and we have submitted the answer in our previous video we have learned that that how to submit the answer so in this particular video in this 10th video we will particularly work on our upvote and downvote system so we will do this with the jquery and ajax and here i have logged in as a admin account so i will use this account for the user and in our next video we will work on the user authentication system so i will uh, work on this upvote and downvote system and uh, i will also move this tags to the question because these tags are for the question we are showing in the answer but it is wrong but now we need to show uh, in this uh, after in this answer in this question block so we will show this after this after the uh, question description so let's do this let's start this uh, tutorial let's start this video so i will open the i will open the main uh templates and detail page i'll open the detail page okay so we have opened the detail page now we will do some settings for our upvote and download system so here we have these are the messages and if i go to the so this is arrow up and this is arrow down so in in this what we will do here i will add here i will add upvote click when we click on this here i will add upvote click and here i will add the class downvote click and we will also add here we will also pass the data answer because we need this with the help of this data we will identify that it is the upvote for which question so here i will add this answer dot id and same for the downvote same for the downvote and now and here we are showing the in this uh, strong tag we are showing the comment so here i will add the class upvote count for which answer so this answer i will concatenate this answer with the class id answer id with the class and same for the downvote system okay so if you remember the our model when we created the model so if you remember that so we have created a model for the upvote and downvote here we have created the model upvote and downvote in the upvote we need to submit the answer that uh, which for this vote for which answer and who is voting for this uh, answer so we will save two things answer and answer instance and user instance so we we will get the answer instance from this uh, tag and the use from uh, from the request from the if i open the views.py file then we will op get the user from the request same as uh, we we are doing for the comment so now what we will do the first thing we will do we will click functionality we will work on click functionality so i will copy this and after the saving command functionality after this saving command functionality i will here work on 
so upvo and here i will do this dot on click function and here i will get the answer where answer id equal to dollar this dot data because we are clicking on the upvote uh, upvote class then this context will be same working for this class so it means we are getting the data for this class so that we are using this and here i will put the answer answer id let's check the answer id that we are the our click functionality is working working correctly so here now we will open our console so click is not defined it is saying that click is not defined actually we need to put this in quotes okay okay let's check now so here if, if i click on this here you can see it is showing the one if i click on this upvote then it is showing the one so it is working so now what will we do i will and now i will copy the this ajax functionality this ajax functionality that we have done in the comment section i will enter this and here I will close the curly braces for the Ajax and in the URL I will save up vote and in the post I need an answer ID and we just need answer ID and CSRF token and in the before send we don't need before send we will just use success and here I will use response and console in console i will show the response okay so now i will open the urls file i will open the url file here i will open the url file and here save upvote and same for this same for this now we will create a url we will create the up save upward system so i will copy the save command command section and here i will put this copy and save upward and here i will also save upward and we are requesting answer id so answer id will be same and we need this answer instance and user and now we need this uh, model so we need upward model so upward and we also need downward model so i will here i will also fetch the downward model from the models and now we need the answer and user okay and uh, here i will also define one condition more that if user has been already submitted the vote for this answer then uh, it will not it will not uh, create in the database so it will return false so what i will do i will here check equal to check equal to this objects dot filter dot count so i will copy this Two and here I'll paste this. Now, if check greater than zero, if check greater than zero, then what will we do? It means user has submitted already for this answer, submitted the vote already, so we will return false. Else, we will return true and save this vote so okay now we uh, we are think we are going correctly in the right direction and now let's check the 
a port system so when click this we are getting the answer and we are running the ajax functionality and uh, now so let's check this first then we will increase the this increase we will increase this counter okay so let's check this so when we click on this i will okay when we click on this so here you can see in in console it is returning true so go to upwards and check the so here you can see we have a upvote but it is showing the object so so let's modify this in the admin.py file so in the admin.py file upvote for we will create class class upvote admin and here i will copy this admin dot model admin and i will list display answer and answer and user okay and now we now we will register along with upvote model so let's check this so uh, it is showing the answer with the user we will uh, truncate this words uh, we will truncate this but uh, for now we will keep this uh, full and we will trun truncate this and uh, we have a we have a answer and we have a who is a submitted the vote uh, we have both things now so we need to uh, fetch the votes fetch the vote count so let's go to the detail page and let's go to the up up vote click from up vote click element so we will go to the board click element and in the counting here we will answer dot up vote set dot count okay so now it is showing one because we have a, a one vote for this answer and similarly we will do this for down vote so here we will do this for down vote okay so now we are up our up voting is working and one thing more that we need to show we need to show instantly when up vote then instantly increase this number if bool true if server returns bool true then we will instantly increase the number so when click on this then we will get the we will get the counting we will get the previous counting so here if i go to this and we will fetch the upward count then we will increase the count so here i will get the previous previous upward you say previous upward dollar dot and here i will this answer id i will concatenate this answer id dot text okay and now we will do this we will increase this text with one so what we will do first we will parse in because this is because this function returning text we need to convert in integer so that we can plus one so plus one okay so let's check this and we have already added the vote so i will delete this vote and check again let's check this so here you can see we have a vote one and now in the database we have uh, submitted the we have submitted the vote so now we will do the same thing for the down vote so for what we will do we will not all the we will not write all the code we will copy the port code and do some necessary changes so down vote down vote and i'll copy this i'll copy this okay okay and this will be down vote class and i'll copy the downward text and here i will be 
paste then here i will paste i will also paste we need to create a url for the download also so we will create the download and uh, we need to paste it here here and we will increase the yeah we will do this for download okay download and here we will also change it download and here download and uh, here download okay now we can do the download functionality so okay let's check this again okay we are doing it right okay let's check the download functionality now so click on this so you can say you if you see it is increases the number let's uh, delete the downward and upward both delete downward and delete and let's check this functionality so it is upward and it is downward so here we have upward and here we have upward and we have a downward and we will do the same thing in admin.py for the download so what we will do here we will copy the class and here we will put the download and we will add this okay so it's okay now so now we have a almost completed our detail page we have submitted the answer we are fetching the questions and uh, we are showing the comments we are showing the upward and downward uh, we are working worked on upward and downward functionality and uh, so we have completed this detail page and uh, we need to work on this tag page so we will work on the upcoming videos and one thing that uh, I have uh, discussed in the in this video at starting that we need to move this tag in the uh, from the uh, answer section to comment section so here I am going to move this actually these tag uh, actually we are not uh, submitting the tags in the answer so we are submitting questions for the this answer so we need to when we are submitting tags for the questions so we need to submit uh, we need to show this tags on the question uh, section so here we have tags. okay so now we will show this so here we have tags so now it's it's all fine all in it's all working fine when we we'll, we will create the user profile page then we will work on this link this user link and when we we will create the tag page then we will link this with tags so our detail page has been completed except these two things user and tags and now we will work on uh, user authentication system so in the next video i will work on user authentication system and then tag and then ask question we will do this so if you do not subscribe this channel then please uh, subscribe and share this video as much as you can uh, do and like this video please uh, it's my humble request and uh, thank you thank you so much